Uh, but please do not step in front of that curb. Definitely don't get out here under the bricks. The reason for that is, is we're going to be using 1858 Remingtons. They are cap and ball revolvers. They are real guns. We load those things up with about 15 grains of black powder per shot, and then instead of a lead ball, we pack them down with cream of wheat. <laughs> That's because we're serial killers. <laughs> Please just stay up on the sidewalk and you'll be just fine. But if you have to wander around the street here in this shootout, we'd have to put a stop to the show for safety concerns. Because we definitely don't want anybody getting hurt. Now I gotta go turn into a shopkeeper for this here gun fight. Give me a moment and I'll be right back. Charlie, how are you doing today? Good, beautiful day today. Oh, it's gorgeous out here. You know, I got tickets for the theater tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna go watch that show with Lily. Lily Von Snoop? Yeah. Yeah, she's great. Russian princess, huh? Yeah, I've never seen a better show with that wood, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what do you got to do? You ain't got anything to do. Don't even recognize me anymore, do you? Now, my name is Jacob Wartimer, and I'm a local shopkeep. According to the August 19th edition of the Black Hills Pioneer newspaper, two gamblers named Johnny Barnes and Charlie Storms got into a disagreement over a game of cards. The solution they came up with was to set themselves up as targets at a gallery and shoot it out. And the best place for this app would be right over here on Gold Street. So we are just about on the exact location where this event actually occurred. Not even two weeks after poor old Wild Bill was shot and killed, the hills had once again ranked with the lively notes of gunfire. I'm done yapping, gonna get in here and play? Yeah, I think so. All right, well, I know I got this one, boys. I'll make it 10. <laughs> 10, huh? Yeah. The only way you can beat me is he's cheating, so I'll see your 10. Uh, if you boys are playing like that, I must be beat. I'm out. I'll be over at my dry goods store, washing my fancy new windows. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute. I'm going to see how this plays out here. Well, I'll see you 10 years, Johnny. Full house. King's over, how about that? <laughs> now, hold on a minute, dear. My four sevens would like to have a word with you. <laughs> ah, I me mean, could beat me unless you are cheating. Four sevens, huh? Yeah, four sevens. Man, there ain't no way a fella could be that lucky. And you called me the cheat. You're the cheat. Johnny, if you got a problem, I know a way to solve it. If you're calling me out, I'm game. Get ready to meet your maker. John, this ain't no summer game. I'm gonna get my winners from you and see you fit for a wood coat. Oh, Charlie, you'll get yours. Don't be in such a hurry to die. Come on, Johnny. Don't walk and whistle, Dixie. Pull that pistol of yours. I'll tell you what, Chuck. You ain't getting my money or my life. Ah! Oh. No one turn these for your engines, do it! You shot out my fancy new window. Worthheimer. I'm not quitting until I get my money from that bummer. Bummer, huh? Yeah. Is that scripted? What do you say we get back to you, stinking old dad? Is that dad? scripted? If you can hit anything. Oh. Charlie Storms wandered down to Tombstone, and old Charlie 
Never able to keep his gums from flapping. Mouthed out to the infamous dapper Luke Short to save three slugs from Luke's cold for his trouble. And that's the way things really were here in Deadwood when Barnes and Storm shot it out on Gold Street. Thank you much for coming, folks, and have a great Deadwood day. All right. Don't burn two gunshots can be so much. Now, the next thing we got going on for you at 430, we'll be right over here on Gold Street. You folks can come meet us, gunslingers, ask us whatever questions you got. We'll be telling stories about Deadwood. And then at 6 o'clock, we're going to have one more gunfight for you up there in front of the